Hi, everybody. This is Professor Bowen Moore. Um, this video is going over um, transferring the static images over to Adobe XD to create your high fidelity prototype of your app and to add all the interactivity. So, <clears throat> so as we see here, um, we've got all the finished pages. Um, this is just an example here. And so from here, what we're going to do, um, obviously, we're going to um, save it as an INDD document. That's your workable, editable document, original document. And then we're going to export um, JPEGs of these screens. So um, I'm going to put those to my desktop to start with because we're going to drag those to XD and we just want them easy to access. So as soon as I do that, it's going to come in here with another screen with, you know, asking me if I want all pages or a certain range of pages. We're going to select all pages. Um, we have them at the right resolution and color mode and everything. So we're going to just click export. And so what it's going to do is it's going to turn these individual pages into individual JPEGs. So I can't minimize that for the moment, though. There we go. So you can see the, some of the pages here. They're on my desktop. So we're going to have that and then we're going to open XD. You may have to install it, um, but if you are on a, a Apple or a Mac, you can go up to uh, there we go. I don't know what that was. Um, you can go up to your icon up here and click on it in the top right of your computer. And then, you know, you should have it in all of your apps down here. Um, but just make sure that you open it. And then, you know, XD is, is, is really easy to use. There's still a lot. I don't, I'm just learning it to myself. So there's, I'm still digging um, in myself um, to learn it more. Um, but for this, um, you know, we don't have a lot to have to do with this other than just create our interactivity and our hotspots of where we want clickable items. Um, so we're going to select new and it's going to ask you what type of device. It's going to plug in a web first. We're going to delete that. Um, and you've got a little menu over here on the left. So the second one from the bottom is artboards. Um, so that's what they call them in here. Um, but we're going to select that and it's going over to the right. It's going to give you different types of artboards, mobile, tablet, um, web, desktop, social media, whatever you're designing for. Um, and so we're just going to select the iPhone X. Um, so you've got design and then you've got prototype. If you look up in the top left of the screen. So right now I know I have if I go back to, let me move this over so I can access it. So if I go back to my static screens in InDesign, I've got one, two, three, four. Your loading page does not have to be three pa three pages, by the way. Um, but in this case, in the example, it is. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a big scrolling page. Eight. So we've got eight artboards total. So I'm just going to keep adding artboards. Um, and you can move this around with your, your two fingers. And you can place these wherever on this area is you, where you, wherever you want. And I'm going to click up here above these artboards and I'm going to go ahead and label these so I know what screen um, they are. So this is going to be the phone screen. This one's going to be the loading page one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You do have command Z on this, just like in the other programs. You can go up to the selection tool also, just like in InDesign. 
Um, so this will be the features article or story. And then from here, oh no, the home page. That should be home page primary navigation. Home page, secondary or hidden navigation view. And then here's the feature. And then sidebar content. Okay, so now from here, we can drag those images into these artboards. So I'm just going to go back to my desktop here, and it should be labeled uh, with your last name, UI UX, and then it'll number the images as they go. Um, so I can minimize that for now. I just got to find them all because they seem to have scattered all around my desktop here. Um, here's the phone image. So I'm just going to drag that to the first artboard. Obviously, it's really big. So I'm just going to zoom out and just, you don't have to use the command shift on these. It'll just automatically scale proportionally. Um, so, and then we have loading page one. And I'm going to go ahead and get all these loaded and um, I will come back and do another video to show you how to do the, um, the interactivity. Okay.